Hello there. Today's video is going to be about the Second Amendment. Now, the Second Amendment is part of the American Constitution and it's to do with the right to bear arms. Now, not a lot of people know what it actually means. Like, they know it's the right to bear arms, but they don't actually know what it's intended for. Well, basically, when the forefathers wrote the Constitution, they knew that one day govern governments might turn tyrannical and try and take over and take everyone's rights off the people and basically fucking create like a chokehold on the people. You know what I mean? And every year taking more and more rights away, getting this strangling hold tighter and tighter and tighter until before you know it, all the rights will be gone. So, I mean, they're already fucking the First Amendment, the right to fucking free speech, that's already been infringed at the minute, like in America. And like I say, it's fucking the Second Amendment, it's, it's important. This is to stop exactly what's going on at the minute. <laughs> When they're fucking, they're taking everyone's rights and telling them that they can't have a gun and shit like that, you know what I mean? Really, like in America, they've got different states and each state has got different rules. Whereas the forefathers, they would have been like, no, no, that's a fucking bullshit idea. We want every state to have open carry, the right to bear arms, the right to, if your government's going to fucking turn against you and fucking... A bit like when we were watching the uh, the thing with the sickness videos. I'm not going to call it by its proper name. But we'll, we'll call it the sickness videos. Uh, when the police was going into like the town, the suburban areas, and they're going, get in your house, get in your house. And people were in their own fucking porches. <laughs> and they were like firing rubber, rubber bullets at them. So uh, is that not turning tyrannical there? If you're in your own property... And you're getting told to get in the house. It's like, yeah, fuck you, man, Mr. Policeman. That's what I would have been saying if I was them people. I would have been, I'm on my own fucking porch. You fucking fire at me and I'll fire back at you. You know, but no one ever does. No one ever exercises that right. And ask yourself, are, are we not starting to fucking enter into this fucking... Do you know what I mean? Like, some people say we're entering into a new world order and... There's lots of different way, uh, names for it, but it's a it's a fucking thing. They're trying. They're trying so hard to take people's gun rights away from them, and they're saying, "Oh, wh why do people need AR-15s and stuff like that?" It's because, like, if for that reason, for when the government turns tyrannical and it's a war, the people against the fucking government, you, the government's got plenty of fucking big guns, haven't they? So the people want big guns as well to match it to make it a fucking fair fight. You know, it's 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 obvious. It's obvious they would do that. I would do that. Here in England, we haven't got like the amendments and stuff like that. We we literally can't fucking carry guns or stuff like that. But our people fight with fucking knives. You know, like fucking knives are they're silent. They don't make any sound at all. Whereas a gun does. So in a way, a knife can be a fucking an awesome fucking tool. To defend your fucking homeland. <laughs> Not as good as a gun. I'll, I'll give you that. But it's still a fucking awesome tool. You know. But I didn't think they would try that shit over here anyway. Because our people fucking just look for fucking some reason to fucking riot. Like in America a man got killed. And over here straight away people jumped on it. And like I, I appreciate that people are trying to like make change in the world. But <laughs> it's fucking crackers how they're starting to go about doing things. And like I say, since all this has kicked off, look at when the fucking uh, the sickness thing was on. Fucking everyone flocked to the gun shops. Because they knew. They knew straight away. If it all goes tits up, there's going to be riots. There's going to be fucking people killing people just to fucking eat and survive. You know? So you should have the right to bear arms in case that happens. And... Let's face it, it's starting to look like it's starting to enter into them sort of times, isn't it? <laughs> it's starting to enter into Mad Max times before you know it. <laughs> but, aye, that's why you should have the right to bear arms. And just to stop them fucking turning tyrannical. Because, like I say, you never know what's going to happen next. You never know. And likes of fucking Nancy Pelosi and them, they're just going to fucking push and push and push until the people haven't got any arms anymore. 
until the fucking just, you know, they can't defend ourselves anymore, then that's when the big takeover will come. But until then, we're just going to have to sit here and observe what's going on and hope it doesn't go down that route. <laughs> and if it does, make sure you've got the biggest fucking gun in the world. <laughs> anyway, hope you like the video, people. Like it, share it, subscribe. And remember what I said, didn't give up your guns. Yeah. <laughs>